Cool. Ryan. Yeah. We still have the Mazda here. What does yep. that mean? More stuff. More stuff? We just, okay, cool. What's uh, what's being done now? Got myself a steering wheel. Steering wheel? Yeah. Okay, well, what type of steering wheel we got? Everything NRG. Er energy? NRG, yeah. Ooh, okay. We got the short hub. Okay. The quick release. Oh, okay. So, uh, you're gonna be one of the wild boys. Yep. All right. And Oh, Sticking with the Hawaiian theme. Oh, that is, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, well, that, that explains the, uh, your hat, actually. <laughs> Very awesome. It's, uh, the Forest Wang edition. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. Wait. So wait. So you're not gonna have an airbag anymore? Nope. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Race car. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't, I don't drive it like crazy, so. Yeah. It's a, it's a show car. Yeah, no, this is gonna look really nice. I like the, uh, the color it's got going on there. Yeah. Awesome. And that was the closest thing to, like, tropical I could get. Sure. Yeah, because, uh, Hawaiian, uh, tropical theme, right? Yeah. Cool. So, first we need to take the other steering wheel off, right? Yep. Okay. So. Yep. Just disconnect the battery, wait for like 15 minutes. Yeah. Before you start messing with anything. Safety first, guys. We're gonna get rid of an airbag soon. Warning, do not attempt to remove an airbag without proper training. We are not responsible for any injury or death due to tampering with an airbag. Enjoy. Oh, there's some surprises in here. What do you mean? There's some, some, you did, some fun looking things. You didn't board the engine? Yeah. What? Ooh, what? No. Wow. Yo, what? Look at that. That. And you painted this too. Yeah. I, you know, I, I really. Mounted up. You told me you were gonna do this, and it was gonna cover up the nice uh, valve cover and everything. It's you all painted. You still see but... part of it over here. You can see it underneath. Yeah. No. No. I. I think this looks really clean. Like. You know, I, I had questions, but it's it looks wow, and it says the Mazda Speed down here. Yeah, this was made, I believe it may have been made by Hydro Motorsports, but I got it from J Parts International, JP International. Okay. Uh, on Facebook, I think he's got his own website too. Okay. Uh, he sells a bunch of parts for these cars. Cool. We'll have a link down below. That is what? That is so clean. Wow. And look, you're, you're gonna have haters. Because <laughs> people, not what a Mazda speed. yeah, people constantly say this is not, a, and it's like it clearly uh, is. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> cool, sweet. Okay, so battery. Yep. I'll uh, disconnect that sucker, and then airbag time. Well, removal of airbag time. You need the battery terminals. What? that GTR? It might have been. Yo, your car is so clean. I could see your reflection off of the inside of the hood. Nice. <laughs> okay. Now we'll go exercise or something, I don't know. Yeah, remove safety features in like 15 minutes. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so we're getting rid of this. Yep. No, so, more, no more airbag. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I might miss the leather though. The leather's pretty nice. That's one thing I do. It's, it's such a good grip versus the suede that that's gonna have. But, yeah, I do enjoy a nice leather steering wheel. Yeah. And I would say I missed my cruise control, but I removed it from the engine bay anyway, so. <laughs> this isn't doing anything. <laughs> All right, well. Yep. So, we got one little poppy Audi guy there. Just remove that. There should be a screw underneath of it. All right. And same thing on the other side. Oh, there we go. That was easy. They're just like rubber. Yeah, real easy to yeah. lose, honestly. Um, so. <laughs> cool. You might even be able to use your fingernails. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. And then... Oh. All right. Cool. 
Some of these have torques, some have a safety Here. torques. Can Mine has 10 millimeters. You have a 10 millimeter? Yep. What? Yo, <laughs> I want a 10 millimeter up right? there. That would've, I, made, that would've made life so much easier. Yeah, no, mine, mine are this yeah. dumb zinc torques thingies. Jay's had these safety torques. Yeah, and uh, the ones in the G have that little thing in the center and yeah. it strips out really easy. <laughs> so, right, well, I gotta go get different tools then. Yeah. Okay. No joke, I wanna upgrade mine to a hex bolt. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could, you just gotta find the right threads. All right. Uno. Sweet. Good old cup holder storage. Cool. Yep. Yeah. You got your um, small fly head? Yeah. Looks like mine. Well, they put it upside down, man. Remove it from that and then you can see better. Dang it. Oh. There we go. Cool. cool. Yeah. And I never put these face down. You always want to put them that way. Just put it face down and it accidentally blows up. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Yeah, you, uh, yeah. Make sure it's not in a staticky area yeah. either. Yeah. Yeah, be extra careful in the winter because obviously everyone knows there's extra static in the winter. Yep. Alright, now we got this here big nut. Yep. Looks like it might be a 21 or a 22. Let's see. 21 it is. 21? Yeah. All right, for the steering column, done. If you got a friend, hold the wheel. If not, you can use an impact or uh, spin it till it locks. And it should be good. But... There we are. Make sure the wheel is straight before you take it off. Nice and easy. There you go. Yep. All right, so that's the uh, clock spring. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Should be able to leave that on. Actually, I might take mine off. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I don't know what to do with this wire if I leave it on. Yeah, that's fair. Cool, all right, pop those things off. All right. We got three holes underneath. Do a Phillips. Oh man, mm -hmm. that's annoying. Which part? I have a, a uh, SRS light on my dash now, but whatever. What's an SRS? Oh, safety restraint system. Airbag. Oh. Okay. Since, since there'll be no airbag. Oh yeah, you're gonna have Christmas trees. Just one. Okay. I'll just take out the uh, gauge cluster and remove that light bulb. Things are clipped together and it's a pain in the butt. There we go. Woo. Cool. Ah. You can just let it sit there because now you can access the clock spring bolts. Yep. Alright, just 
make sure you remember that that was centered. Mm -hmm. If you ever need to put it back on, you're gonna need to make sure it's centered. Yeah, you don't want that yeah. in there. I got two plugs underneath. That's most likely your horn. Cool. There we go. All right. One more clock spring. Yep. These here are your grounds for the horn. Okay. One, I guess, goes there somehow. Yeah. We'll figure it out. I'm just gonna hold it up there for now. All right. So it's cool, we got these two little nipples here on this plastic piece. Yeah, I was looking at that. And the back of this has two little cutouts. Okay. And we'll do the NRG on the top so everybody can see it. Advertising. And there she is. Yeah, that looks uh yeah, that looks clean. Well I mean we're gonna have, you know. Yeah. That, but it's gonna look real real clean when that's all buttoned up. So I'm trying to see here. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. You can see through it a little bit, but yeah. once you get the steering wheel on. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no way I can use this. It just won't work. Yeah. Because this big old thing's in the way. It won't go on. Yep. So. We didn't even have any wiring for it, so. Yep. So now, the other fun part, we gotta figure out how to get the horn to work. <laughs> this one here should be the horn. It has three, four wires. Hmm. What's that? I almost forgot I had a horn button. Yeah, right? I was like going through all this and like, wait, do I even have a horn button? Yeah, so, so right now we're figuring out the electrical and the grounds to get this thing actually work. Because otherwise, you know, I'm not gonna be able to tell the drivers what's going on. It was nice yeah. though. That looks real clean. Yeah. So basically, I can just solid ground this thing. Because this is where the ground gets broken up. Hmm. So I can just make everything connect directly up. And then when you go beep, 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 that's when the ground's complete. When you beep, beep, beep. Yep. Beep, beep, beep. Perfect. Right on. Now I just. Still gonna have to figure out which one of these is my horn button, but I got the power probe for that. This on right. temporarily so it doesn't pop back off. So right now, Ryan is attaching the power probe. There you go, we got the juice. All right. I know this is the plug that worked the horn, mm -hmm. but it also controls the cruise control. Yeah. So if your car doesn't have cruise control, it should be pretty easy. It'll just be a positive and a negative. But I got extra stuff. So this one gives us 12.7 volts positive. All right. So that sounds like it might be a positive. That would be a negative. See the green negative light lights up? Yeah. That one gives us nothing. And that one's also a negative. So. So we got one positive. Let's see which one makes the horn go beep. There you go. There you go. So that's our positive for the horn right there. All right. Cool. Yes, sir. So that's the one on the end that is black and red. Sweet. So I'm gonna try and tap right into that. So Ryan will have some safety features. Yeah, well you need a <laughs> horn to pass inspection. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is gonna work. Ryan has put a 
connection, circuit connection right there. There you go. So that completes the connection there. Now I just need to run a wire. And then I think I'm gonna use this thing they sent me. I'm gonna hack it up a little bit. Connect the wire that I'm running from here to this. And then just bolt it somewhere. So that way it hits the back of this. Yeah. Creating the uh, electrical connections. Yeah, I guess there's real no real standard way to do this. It's different with every car. Yeah, we were looking at some diagrams from NRG, and they actually had a, a legit bobby pin. Like so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're gonna do it, you know, using actual electrical connections. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is. It's a little bit of uh, electrical <laughs> wizardry going on right now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Race car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. What do we got going on? Got her figured out. Yeah. So I use that sweet bracket that I don't need that they sent me. Yeah, so it's all yeah. cut apart now. <laughs> yep. So the tab that's on it, I have sticking out. So that way, once the back of the short hub hits it, that connects your positive Yeah, you can see right back up here, it's yep. contact in the back, okay. So, and then I made this little wire here. Yeah, it's all legit. To run from our positive connection for the horn. We repeat, this wire did not come with the kit. Ryan created this wire. Yep, <laughs> and then this little bracket they gave me is a perfect size for one of these, I forget what they're called, but wiring terminals. Yep. To slips right on. Slide right over it, moving things here. I gotta tighten that screw down a little more, but and then we can test. Oh wait, gotta put our nut on. So that way this is nice and tight, and the nut completes the ground. Since the actual short hub is grounded to the steering column. Hmm. And then now we can do a little test, make sure it works. So now that we have all that connected, this should be our ground. And then this will be our positive. Beautiful. So we got a horn. That's awesome. And yep. once this is all tucked back up in there, you won't see any of that, so. Yeah, no, that's that looks super legit though. Yeah. yeah it's gonna look super clean. So, yeah. so now we just need to, the rest is really just bolting stuff. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Rocket science. Mm -hmm. like, like for real though. Yep. Cool. So now we just gotta put each little piece on and connect the wires to each little piece. And that'll be it. Awesome. Just gonna take this. A little extra safety. Yep. Alright. The steering wheel ain't coming off. screws but positive will connect to this positive one here which the yellow is the positive black is the ground cool and then just tuck these wires in here somehow Obviously, energy on top, but it also comes with this little hole. You can see that tiny little hole? Yeah. Matches up with that hole. Yep. 
That's that. And I need my hardware. Make sure it still works, check. Yeah, all right. There you go. Cool. She's good. Cool. Connection is still there. All right. Just gotta wire up the horn to the quick release. Slap her on there. Okay. And then screw on a steering wheel. Yeah, you yeah, know, the important part. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're gonna need to put our wheel on. That's as close as it's gonna get. All right. And then we plug our horn in. steering wheel installed on a Mazda and if you made it this far you like the video so make sure to smash that like button down below make sure to subscribe share with all your friends and uh, make sure to come down to H2OI and party with us in Ocean City unofficial but we'll be there it's gonna be a good time oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> awesome work all right let's go <laughs> that is so funny Thanks for watching this episode of Mills Garage. Make sure to like and comment below, share the video, and we'll see you next time. Oh man, yeah, no one's stealing your car with stuff yeah. there. <laughs> That's sweet. Dude, nice. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. I like. I like. Awesome work, buddy. Woo! Yeah.